Okay, in the last tutorial we demonstrated on how to compose or create an email and send it. Uh, the autoresponder eventually came along and this is what we got from Gmail tutorials. As you can see it gives you some indication who we are. Success, read our first email. And it goes, you have successfully sent your email and we have received it with no issues. Well done. Now, if you happen to be super organized, not like myself because I'm not super organized, you can tell Gmail where to put emails when they come in or you can do it manually. In this tutorial we're just going to do it manually. So we're going to take this email and we're going to move it to a label otherwise known as folders but Gmail calls them labels. Let's take it in personal. Now if we go over here to personal and click on personal you can see that it's there. We go back up to inbox and we have the two Gmails that we didn't delete and for example if we move those again move them to let's create a new a new label we create a new label and we'll call it gmail so two conversations have been moved to gmail and we want to check see where it says six more we can oh there look here we are gmail two i hope that's fairly straightforward as with all of the other tutorials each will be company accompanied even with a PDF with a little bit more detail and the great thing of course about video is you can always pause rewind or start again if you have any questions or if you'd like to comment on any of the videos please do so to let us know how we're getting on and if you have any ideas or if there's anything in particular that you'd like to know drop us an email at hello at newtonnet.com or even at gmail toots the only thing is if you do send an email to gmail toots you will get an auto responder saying success you've successfully sent your email and we've received it which might seem a little unusual there you go thank you